Hey, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here. Bring you guys another sneaker review. These ones are the other ones that I got from the Dornbecker pickups. This is the other one I have, the, the Jordan 9s. If you didn't see the review on these, check out my channel. Uh, and you can uh, see the full review on those. But I wanted to keep these separate because there's enough details on each shoe to really go uh, the full amount of time uh, for each video. So these ones are the Nike Dunk High Pro SBDBs, if you will. Uh, and I'm not making that up. I'm actually literally just reading it right off of here. <laughs> uh, retail on these things are only $115. Like, to me, honestly, to be quite honest, these ones were the biggest steal of the whole entire thing. Like, I would have honestly paid $200 for these ones just because the quality on these dunks are insane. Absolutely insane. They come with a free pair of Nike Elite socks that match the shoes. And you can see that it has a smiley face on it, um, which is, is designed by the child as well. And uh, I don't know, man, they're just crazy, crazy nice shoes. I'm going to get into the review, give give you guys a closer look here in just a second. But I wanted to give you a little bit of a background. Since I did get the Dornbecker 9s in the, uh, and I'll just put, I guess, one right there. Um, or maybe I'll put one back here. Uh, I did get the Nor Dornbecker 9s in the Twitter RSVP, so I didn't have to wake up early in the morning to go get them. But I, I was thinking in the back of my head the whole time, like, I really wanted to get those dunks. And if I got there early in line then I would probably be able to get the dunks. I woke up at 5 o'clock. I could not get the dunks online, so I ended up just trying to go back to bed for like an hour and then was going to get up and, and maybe head downtown like by 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. and then waiting in line for roughly an hour or so. But I couldn't fall back asleep, so I, I started to work on my day job stuff a bit. Then I decided to go down there and wait in line. I picked up some Voodoo Donuts. If you don't follow me on Twitter or I mean on Twitter and Instagram, I, I totally... I uh, tweeted out the pictures of my donuts that were ridiculous, a maple bacon uh, bar. But anyway, so these things, uh, long story short, I wanted to get there so I could get these. And I was probably like 15th in, or so in line. So I was like, my chances are pretty good right now to get these guys. But these to me are just crazy, crazy good quality. Um, and I'll show you the reasons why uh, right now. So let's uh, just jump into it. So you can see again by the box, Nike Dunk High Pro SBDBs. Retail is 115 dude. It's so crazy cheap. I'm going to move that over here real quick. Show you the inside lid. And you can see this is kind of important stuff here. You can see the, the kid that designed them. And I actually met him. If you didn't um, see that video, I met Finn um, and all of the other kids. And they signed the box. And I'll show you the signature in a second. This is some information about him. This is some serious business right here, guys. Like hypoplastic, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. I don't know what that means. But it says right here he's endured over 13 heart surgeries in his life. The kid is 10 years old and has had 13 heart surgeries, for Christ's sake. Like, So big kudos to this kid, man. I mean, I, like I said, I would pay extra just for, for for not because the shoe is awesome. Honestly, I would pay extra because the shoe is awesome as is. But the story behind it is amazing. This kid has a lot of heart. The fact that he's had that many surgeries um, is just insane. And you can see all the signatures uh, right here. Finn's signature is the one right here. The rest of the kids um, are all around it. Um, so that's kind of fun, you know, the fact that I was able to get all the, the boxes signed, that was the other huge incentive for me to get up extra early and get down there and meet these kids and uh, to try my luck on getting these ones as well. So um, I don't know, actually, I didn't actually check to see if they come with extra laces. I don't, I didn't see any in the box. Do you guys see any more? No, no extra laces. Uh, Would have been cool to see like an, an orange pair of laces in here or something or a matching red. But regardless, definitely a good look with these shoes. Now, if you can tell, this is a, a laser etched of a heart, um, which at first you didn't understand. If you don't understand, it's obviously you do now because the kids had 13 heart surgeries. And then on the back, it says thump thump. And that's, uh, as it says in the inside, something to the effect of um, a tribute to his unstoppable heart. That's that's pretty gangster, dude. I mean, it's nothing but appreciation for this shoe. Um, again, the design is just straight up fire. Like, let's look up closely. As you can see, the materials right here, it's kind of like a, it's not patent leather, but it's definitely a shinier leather here and definitely more of a matted leather on the inside right here. When you get into the tongue, though, this is where it gets crazy and, and fun. Like, this tongue is actually suede. And I'm trying to pull it up here so you can see it. It's really hard lighting in here. Ah, there it is. So you can see kind of it's a suede tongue and it has a, 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 a three-leaf clover on the tongue right there. And then as you kind of go around, you can see that the stitching right here, so this is laser etched. You can see that the Nike Switch is stitched on, but then it has like an extra little stitching around it like that. And I don't know if that's symbolic of like stitching of like a, a heart or something like that, or 
like stitches, you know what I mean? But that's kind of what it looks like, and and uh, it adds a little bit of a dynamic to the to the to the switch. So I really like that. But then you come back to the back side, and then obviously the thump thump and laser etched. But then it has this part right here. This material is just wild. It's it's like a, a cloth material almost, but it's weaved on. And uh, so you get a better look of it right there. It's really really nice though. And then you have the little pull tab right here in blue. A nice little accent. Ties the whole entire shoe together in my opinion. And then on the back, uh, it says, well, on this one first it says, I can, underneath here, under the, the tongue. And then on the other side it says, do it. So, really cool again. I mean, I'm totally inspired by this shoe. And, uh, oh, and that's not even all of it. It gets even crazier. Like, the soles of these guys are just sick. Like, look at the, it's clear soles, which is always a plus. And then it's his thumbprint. It's the actual kid's thumbprint on the bottom, I believe. Um, and a smiley face, which goes in line with a smiley face on the socks. And uh, again, it's just clear. And there's uh, hits of blue. They, I really, really, like if I was going to design a shoe, it would be similar like this. I really like tying elements of the shoe together um, and making it a balanced kind of a design. So I feel like they really did that well on this shoe. But all in all, man, this is just a, a great, great shoe in my opinion. One of the best Dornbeckers out of all of them that I've seen. Um, I mean, I don't know that maybe it's just me, but I really, really think this is a, a great pickup. Then the socks again, you can see with the, the smiley face on it right here. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on these things. And it's such an inspiring story to myself, you know, like, as I mentioned in, in my, um, my other video, like I, I was a kid, I was actually at Dornbecker as well when I was a child, but, uh, it wasn't anything long-term. I just had, um, that I had to be checked out because they thought I had scoliosis, which I didn't end up having. So thank God. But. But yeah, my heart goes out to the kid. You know, hopefully uh, he has a long, long life ahead of him. And uh, I believe they were talking about him in line. And I think that he is the one that they were saying that he still needs to get a heart transplant. And uh, I don't know if I'm speaking out of turn, but I think that they were saying that he needed a heart transplant, but they were, he's allergic to a medication that would put him under, I guess. And he cannot get a heart transplant until there's an alternative to that medication. To, to make it so he doesn't have that allergic reaction. So my heart really, literally, I wish could go out to him, but um, you know, figuratively, it goes out, it goes out to him because I really hope that he has a, a long life ahead of himself. So uh, shout out to to him, and hopefully he, you know, again, hopefully he ends up uh, great. But we have these shoes here. Uh, let me know again your guys' thoughts on these dunks. As just from the straight up sneaker side, I think they're straight up fire. I really, really do like these shoes a lot. Uh, really was glad that I was able to get them, and I'm I feel like. It was one of those things I had, to, I had to take off the morning from work, but it was definitely worth it, and it ended up being really worth it in the long run. 